My name is Emily Dobby and I'm an, uh, I'm an associate at TPA and today I also have my um, colleague uh, Maria with me. She's a, a VCA specialist. Um, today's agenda, uh, we will uh, introduce uh, um, why are we uh, the text functions that need to implement technology in the first place. And uh, we will also talk about uh, adopting and enabling uh, text technology initiatives. And uh, we will also talk about the uh, technology solutions that text functions can benefit from. And uh, Maria will uh, take you through uh, and explain um, TPA's own uh, text technology strategy and roadmap. So um, text technology, Technology for text functions has been a very uh, heated topic for a while, and you may uh, wonder why do we uh, need to implement technology to text functions in the first place? If we had to uh, answer this question in one sentence, it's uh, purely because the text authorities are using it, and we need to uh, keep up with uh, the technology the text, text authorities are using. Global text uh, administrations and other stakeholders demand text transparency, resulting in additional reporting requirements and increased controversy and risk to reputations. Tax authorities are increasingly relying on technology for data gathering, exchange of information and analytics. Current digital systems can provide for real-time tax collections with considerations and assessments. Therefore, uh, tax technology will have the capability of transforming tax workflows and the role of tax department uh, will eventually only consist of doing outlier analysis on automatically generated and visualized tax data. To meet increasing demands with tighter deadlines, tax function is joining other enterprise functions to deploy technology and data analytics solutions that will enable quicker access to accurate data. Before uh, considering to adopt text technology to your text functions, um, there are some questions that must be answered first. These include, how much of the text technology expertise in-house do we already have, and can we rely on external consultants to design and implement text uh, technology systems? And you may also ask, are current systems and databases sufficient to support text technology automation? And uh, also, very importantly, what is the requirement required investment and what forward te looking text technology shall we pursue over the short term, meaning over the next one to two years, and the medium term, meaning five plus years? So, there are two uh, main types of functionalities that we need to consider. The first type includes usually seven uh, uh, tax functionalities, and the second type includes 10 IT functionalities. Um, on the table, there, there is more detailed explanation of the different functionalities. It is important to mention that these are only a selection of the most common functionalities. So, um, what are the technologies that can provide uh, benefit uh, for uh, tax functions? Um, there are broadly, there are four types of uh, text, text solutions that can provide benefit to, um, to text functions. And these uh, include uh, compliance related solutions, data extraction, data transformation, and data visualization uh, solutions, uh, process management, um, managing text uh, workflows, and hosting and storage uh, uh, solutions. So firstly, the uh, compliance-related solutions. Basically, these solutions are aimed to remove inefficiencies in the existing manual processes and also to ensure greater accuracy and transparency of tax returns. It's all about automating tax compliance processes. For example, TPA has partnered with various number of um, software vendors uh, for tax compliance and um, through uh, through this uh, uh, software solution, you can um, generate the uh, returns in four steps. Uh, first, uh, you upload the data. Second, uh, check for data consistency. Three, manually make adjustments when necessary. And four, the actual uh, return preparation, which will uh, just in involve uh, trend analysis uh, for potential errors, risks, 
and the anomalies. And sec second type of solution that the text function can greatly benefit from are the solutions for data extraction, data transformation, and data visualization. Data extraction is the process of pulling or obtaining relevant tables and fields from ERP systems, tax authority systems, or customs. The current ERP system used by companies have limited tax functionalities. Therefore, a lot of uh, tax work is currently done by tax professionals using spreadsheets. Companies can use integrated ERP systems to capture tax-related data from various departments and collate it at a single source using automated tools. Improved and efficient consolidation of data will minimize the risk and inefficiencies associated with the use of spreadsheets. And with the use of cloud-based applications, data can be stored and accessed anytime, anywhere. Enterprises can adopt an analytic solutions for real-time informed decision-making and embrace predictive analytics to gain actionable insights from data generated from internal business processes as well as external market sources. The uh, third type of uh, solutions that tax functions uh, can, uh, can benefit from is uh, process management uh, solutions. These uh, solutions are aimed at better controls, governance, or inefficiencies over completion of work tasks, made usually by enforcing a process, therefore resulting in improved internal controls, minimizing recurring rework, and increased collaboration. Examples of such solutions uh, being used for is transfer pricing documentation solution for transfer pricing documentation preparation. Having these solutions improves efficiency and transparency of the entire process, making sure information is available on a timely basis to the right people. The processes are documented. Workflow management solutions to ensure clear lines of in, uh, in accountability. Later, Maria will talk about TPA's uh, TPA Global's tax technology roadmap, which integrates the RACI framework. RACI framework is uh, to frame work in which key ta tax risks or decisions should be assigned based on who is to be responsible, accountable, consulted, and informed. And the fourth uh, solution, type of solution, um, is hosting uh, and storage solutions. Any text technology solution provided on a cloud online basis needs to use hosting and storage services and provide an environment that is accessible anytime, anywhere, and with virtually no downtime. This means that the solution will provide centralization of data storage, uh, meaning data can be used for multiple purposes across different applications. So transforming a text function relies on technology as an integr integral component of any transformation strategy, but it must not be the only component. You need the people with the right skills to make technology work and to be maintained. Your data and processes need to work in, uh, in alignment with the technology. TPA Global has created um, our own text technology roadmap that can guide you through the transformation of text functions. It will guide you to map what should be done, who should be, who should be helping in implementation, and how it should be done. Now I'll hand over to Maria to uh, continue with the, uh, the, 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 the presentation. So uh, let's imagine a software which is completely integrated within uh, your company, where you can have all the data readily available. Then your tax returns would be automatically created and your transfer pricing documentation would be created uh, with a, a click of, the bot of a button. It would be a magical solution for all the tax compliance issues that you're, you're currently face. To reach such a digital control uh, for these issues, you need to formulate a strategic plan that fits your company's needs. Therefore, you need to consider six different critical steps to make sure you do not make any rash or naive decisions, which can lead to a waste of uh, the 
purchase the software. By following these six steps, you make sure you select the software that fits your company, considering the tax uh, compliance issues your company is dealing with. Those steps can help you construct your company's own tax uh, technology plan. Uh, depending on the business's configurations, the most suitable software solution will vary considerably from one organization to another. Uh, the tax technology plan uh, starts with defining the objectives of the project and challenges that the, of the current structure. Basically, it refers to choosing the goal of the project uh, by determining that, uh, what this pro project has to deliver when finished. Many uh, MEs uh, already use uh, various uh, finance and accounting software. However, it is unlikely that they cover tax specific areas such as tax planning, um, transfer pricing, trust, tax provisioning, uh, and tax compliance. Uh, these areas are represented by tax technology solutions that have recently appeared on the market. However, when it comes to selecting a solution, it is more difficult than it appears to be. You might have a general idea of uh, what you need, but how would you do? Uh, would you like to? Would you like it to be delivered? Uh, is a really important question that needs to be answered. Uh, to choose a software package uh, that would suit your needs and uh, facilitate your work, you should answer uh, that type of questions. Otherwise, you might end up with a useless solution that would uh, even make uh, take more of your time instead of saving it. Mm. Um, it's, in, it's important to mention that the tax technology works like reverse engineering. Instead of starting at the beginning, you start from the end of the process. If you start with the outcome and walk back through the process, this will show a new perspective of the work processes. Uh, basically, in that step, we understand more about the process and what will lead to the right outcome. So uh, to move on to the next step, uh, this uh, part focuses more on answering the question of what does the organization currently look like. It indicates internally which departments are involved in the automation. Afterwards, uh, we, we need to figure out the people who will uh, participate in the project by using the racing model. Uh, thus, you can trace uh, the work currently performed by an employee and decide whether such position um, and workload need to be automated. Uh, once we have a clear view of the objective, uh, as we said in the first step, uh, we can start mapping proce processes within our organization. For implementation of the software to be effective, it should be determined uh, how the process is organized today and how it would change with uh, the use of the software. Within the relevant team, the processes need to be defined uh, on a role level. This can be done by using a straightforward governance model, the so-called RACI model. Uh, the RACI stands for Responsible, Accountable, Consulted and Informed. Uh, this is a clear approach uh, of allocating the tasks within the tax functions of a company. Uh, this way you create a structure regarding the reporting to people. Once your trans, uh, organizational uh, structure is defined, you can start looking into the functionalities that you actually would like to automate. Uh, so let's move to the workflow selection. In this step, the company needs to choose which uh, workflows needs to be automated. We need to bear in mind that uh, that is very difficult and complicated, that a very difficult and complicated uh, processes are not the best option to be uh, automated. On the other hand, easy repetitive processes are much easier to be automated. Besides selecting the redundant work to make the automation more effective, the company requires to set priorities in the project. It is often the case that the company wants to automate multiple areas at the same time. This is virtually impossible 
since an implementation of a software product requires a lot of attention. Not all workflows can be automated as they may be too complex. Therefore, it needs to be decided which workflows within the selected objective are the best suited for automation. Workflows can be categorized uh, into complex, average, and simple, as uh, you can see in the figure. Complex workflows are workflows that are customized and uh, are not often repeated. Due to the significant human input required, this workflow is not standard uh, and it makes it harder to automate. An example of a, uh, an example of a complex uh, workflow is creating a tax or transfer pricing model regarding actual tax uh, audits or certain uh, control issues within the tax authorities. Such workflow requires cre creativity and even an advice from uh, an external consultant. Uh, another an example of a simple workflow is preparation of TP documentation, which is repetitive from year to year, except of the financial uh, figures. All workflows that cannot be categorized as complex or simple will automatically be marked as average. Currently, there are so many uh, tax uh, technologies offered in the market covering all the type of taxes. Uh, ranging from indirect tax to direct tax, as well as transfer pricing. In order to select which softwares, uh, software uh, to be used, the company should be aware of its objectives, so the, the goals. Uh, for instance, in terms of transfer pricing, the company needs to answer a few questions to decide to what extent the company's TP process should be automated and what software packets or functionalities should be the best fit um, with the company's framework. Some of those que questions might be like, uh, are you able to rank the top, um, the top five most create important criteria to build the company's business case? Or uh, how does the company's medium or long-term TP software ambitions would look like? Uh, once everything has been uh, completed and the software has been selected, the, que uh, the question uh, you should ask as a company is how will it be impl implemented in the coming period? Similar to any other project, this requires a timeline. Aligning schedules and uh, knowing each other's roles and expectations simplifies the implementation sim significantly. Elements such as harmonization, standardization, a uh, clear vision of the objective and um, open communication with the finance and the uh, IT department are fundamental in order to achieve uh, the project goals. A lot of effort also needs to be put uh, in the project approach. This reflects the steps that the company needs to take in order to execute this plan. TPA Global can help you in the creation of the right roadmap and the execution of all the steps uh, needed in order to achieve this automation. automation. To conclude, um, TPA Global with the Suite 2020 platform can combine different software features in order to offer the perfect fit for purpose to fulfill all your needs. Um, in order to conclude, the main points are that it is really crucial for the companies to keep up with the new developments as tax authorities are increasingly use uh, new technologies. Um, a, a roadmap needs to be in place for the most smooth transition in the digitalization area, era, um, era. Um, that way, uh, in implementing new technologies in your company, you can try to uh, be ahead of the tax authorities. And, uh, as Maria was saying, um, uh, TPA uh, does provide a service uh, uh, to help you um, as an independent party to uh, perform and assist on uh, vendor selection for all different types of software that is available in the market. And we can um, help you in choosing uh, software solutions that actually uh, work for your company. Um, and uh, to uh, close the uh, presentation, um, 
it's uh, important to remember that uh, nowadays the uh, tax function um, is uh, very uh, data driven, working in real time, and uh, you must take a more holistic approach on the uh, enterprise level. Um, if you have any uh, questions, uh, um, please uh, feel free to reach us by email. Um, our email is on the slides. And um, yeah, and uh, thank you very much for your uh, time. Thank you very much.